Okay, I've had a couple of people ask me <clears throat> a little bit about my journey starting out, starting my own business and uh, consulting contract work and uh, what that was like. So I figured I'd put together a video and uh, <clears throat> share my thoughts on the experience. So I think context of like my story is helpful and then I'll talk through um, the focus of this is like how I dealt with it. So um, for context, I've been in full-time employee roles my whole life. Uh, <clears throat> the idea of starting a business looked cool, but I just never had the guts to even pursue something. It just seemed too risky, too much uncertainty. I just couldn't do it. And uh, so full time's role. And but towards you know like the past couple of years, the whole this whole idea of like freelancing, multiple clients, that was like intriguing to me. I felt like it had a little more control in terms of. Well, it was, uh, if you had a set of clients, you were more uh, risk averse to income going from 100 to zero, right? You had multiple sources of income. And then um, you had ideally more control on like how much work you would take on if you get good enough and can charge enough. And uh, <clears throat> so all of that was really intriguing to me. <clears throat> and so last summer, I actually took on my first side project. It came through a referral from uh, an old boss of mine. And, uh, I, I don't even remember if I was looking at the time, but he sent that over to me. He was like, Hey, they needed somebody to look at their emails. And he's like, Hey, I know a guy and he sent them over and I just did a project. Well, that went pretty well. And so I was like, Hey, I, let's see if I can keep doing this on the side. Um, my employer was okay with it. And so even though it was the same line of work, uh, <clears throat> And I started picking up projects on the side, which a lot of people will do. And so I uh, started reaching out to my network and picked up uh, another project from an old employer of mine and started doing some uh, work for them. Well, I had that project in place when a layoff happened. So I got laid off. I was the target from the marketing team. They took one person from every team in our small company. And uh, suddenly I went from 100 to like zero, right? And so I had been thinking about this for a while, but I uh, could never have chosen to push myself to do it. I got four weeks of severance. And then I had this other kind of side project going on in the middle of all this. <clears throat> So by combining those two, I had essentially eight weeks of runway where money didn't have to change, right? I didn't have to worry about, like, it was almost like, okay, I know I'm going to get laid off in eight weeks. So I thought to myself, well, like I'm doing one project already. Let Eight weeks is a lot of time. Let's see how long I can extend the runway. You know, I get another project and I'll just, it'll just kind of keep pushing it out. I'm just going to keep pushing out my runway until I, you know, I'm losing a little bit more money and then maybe go the full-time role. Uh, so I picked up a couple of projects early on and they were good and decent size and it pushed up my runway by like another month. Um, but quickly found that like I needed uh, retainer work to like make this viable. And so um, it took me two and a half, three months to keep working connections, conversations with a bunch of folks to get to that point, but eventually um, got enough clients to support me and my family. So <clears throat> uh, without going into like details of that process, I think emotionally early on, I've been, you know, two years ago, uh, my uh, boss, Joe Martin at the time had said that like, hey, if things, you know, it was a startup. So like, hey, if things don't work out here, I'm not too worried about what's coming next because I've built up a good network. And I didn't have that. So after him saying that, I started working on it very consistently over the past two years. And so when I got laid off, all of a sudden, sure, I didn't have income, but I knew I had loads of people that I'd built some level of relationships with that I could start asking for help from. That gave me a lot of confidence in the early days that like, hey, this might be possible, right? I got uh, quite a few referrals um, of people looking for my first three projects were 
all people that I just knew. And uh, that kind of gave me enough momentum to just keep going. And, uh, and yeah, so don't know if that's helpful. And uh, hit me up if you've got other questions.